guys, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. One of my instructors, Jeremy, here to help me today. We're going to continue with our Utilizing Resources series on tallow and make some soap today. I apologize if you hear chainsaws in the background. I got a couple guys next property over from mine putting up firewood for the winter time, so you might hear some chainsaws in the background now and then. So the first thing we're going to do is render our lard down or render our tallow down, depending on what type of animal we're using, whether it's tallow or lard. In this case, we're using deer, so it's tallow. And then we're going to extract our lye to get ready to make our soap. So stay with us. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do today is, you know, making lye soap, we're going to render this tallow again. And I had some questions last night on the video segment about the candles, asking about tallow versus lard. Is anything, is any fat can be used from any animal? And like I said, tallow is kind of a fancy word for fat, but so is lard. And the difference between fat and tallow you know, was pointed out to me by a gentleman on YouTube last night, and he's right. Lard usually will stay fairly soft at room temperature. Tallow will be hard at room temperature. That's why the deer tallow is so good for what we're doing. And now we're going to make soap with this. So what we're doing now is we're cutting it up to render it again. We've got a small container of wood ash off to the side over here. And that's where we're going to get our lye from. And we'll explain that process to you in just a few minutes. I'm going to get uh, assisted today by my buddy Jeremy, one of my instructors at the Pathfinder School. Say hi to the camera, Jeremy. I know you're shy. How we doing? <laughs> okay, so what we've got here is we've got some ashes out of the fire in another pot, and I've got a mason jar full of water. And the water's kind of important in this process. I assume that you're going to use natural water. That's what we're trying to do out here, is make this a project that you could do in the woods in a self-reliant situation. So we've taken water out of the creek. You can collect rainwater for this. But what you don't want to use is you don't want to use uh, hard water out of like your sink or something like that if you're on city water because you don't want all those chemicals and chlorine in the water. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this up with water a little bit to the top of the pan and let it settle down inside. And we're going to boil this over the fire just like we're doing with our tallow right now. It's important that you use a hardwood coal in this or hardwood ash in this. You don't want to use pine and softwoods and things like that. You want like oak and hickory. Hardwoods is what you want. Okay so here we are back at the fire. Jeremy, Janie and myself working on our tallow rendering it down and working on our lye solution and lye is very easy to extract people don't understand how easy it is but wood ash and water will extract lye so what we're doing right now is we're boiling it down and we're going to strain it off to get any soot and ashes that are left in it out then we're going to add a little bit of water to it and boil it down again so you're almost making a decoction if you were making a herbal remedy it would be like a decoction you're going to boil it down a couple of times to concentrate that lye Okay, so what we're going to do now is we got this mason jar here, which I hope we don't crack with this hot liquid. And we're just going to put this old nasty schmog over the top up to strain it off. And we're going to strain some of that ash off. we've got left now residually is basically a liquid that's got a high content of lye in it and that's what we're going to use to make our soap with but we're going to render this down one more time like I said almost like a decoction and strain it off one more time before we do that okay so we pulled our lye water off and set it off to cool we're getting ready to pull our tallow off now and we're going to strain the cracklings off of it and then we're going to put it back on a low fire and mix our lye water with it and boil it again to get everything seized together and get that thing into a solution where we can pour it in a mold and make soap. So the next step is to strain the cracklings out of our tallow. Okay, so we've mixed our lye water with our melted tallow now. And now what we want to do is we want to burn the water off so that we leave nothing but the lye chemical mixed with the tallow. Okay, so the next step in the process now, we've pretty much got everything rendered down where we want it. What we've got left should be able to harden into soap. But now we're going to strain it off one more time just to make sure we get any more impurities out of it. Um, I'll just cut a piece of this cloth here real quick, strain it over the top of, and then we're going to use the other piece to line our mold with. Off 
again here. We're going to wet this cloth before we line our mold with it. I'll let you take this over the creek and just kind of okay. this down a little bit. And that's going to help it cool and keep it from sticking as much if we do that. Let's just kind of put this, instead of all the whole thing flat, let's just kind of pour into a corner, I think. Maybe. Okay. Just kind of set it at an angle a little bit. Yeah, like that, exactly. Now it's just a matter of letting that cool down and solidify and we'll come back. Okay guys, so this is our molded soap right here in the dish and we put this rag in here to collect some of the excess water that might be left in there. I'm going to pull that out and you can see there was a little bit of water left in that. But that rag allowed that to drain off. So now what we have left is a solid bar of soap. So we'll get that water drained off of it real quick. And now we can use that, cut that up, or break it up, whichever one we want to do, just like that. Break it into a couple squares. You know, we've got some good lye soap right there, and it smells pretty good. And we can wash our skin, wash our clothes, wash our hair. It's got enough grease in it, you know, that it gives us a little bit of protectant too. But it also will clean our stuff really well. So we've got, you know, three or four small bars of lye soap there. That we can split up between me and Jeremy, put those in our kit, dry this out. We can store them in a cloth like that if we wanted to. We'll just let that dry out and then we can wrap our soap in that cloth to store it. We made some lye soap. Pretty awesome. Hi, I'm Dave Canterbury at the Pathfinder School. This is one of my assistant instructors, Jeremy Janey. And we appreciate you joining us today during this segment of making lye soap, utilizing the resource of tallow. We appreciate your views. We appreciate your support. We'll be back with another video very soon. Thank you very much.